Hey guys, welcome for another video. You are watching. Hey guys, finally here we are on the important topics on our series. So from this video, uh, for the next upcoming videos, we will be talking upon the top 10 vulnerabilities that has been uh, like, you know, a market by Wovasp team right so uh, in these videos uh, like i will be explaining the deep concepts uh, about the each vulnerability that has been uh, disclosed and if at all if possible uh, well, whenever i am explaining the uh, topics or a concept i promise like uh, if at all if any examples applications i have definitely i will show you the practical things but in some scenarios uh, i'm not sure like whether i will be able to give you some very good examples like suppose uh, broken author like improper authorizations uh, things because uh, uh, there are no like purposefully made in uh, like vulnerable apps for broken uh, like authorization and, uh, and authentication things but i uh, like you know showing the live applications which are in a play store uh, and all that will be uh, violating the terms and like terms uh, of that applications and their business so it will be a bad impact all right so but i will give you people a complete ideology on how to hunt or how to find such kind of security uh, issues right uh, if at all if you guys found any uh, any difficulties uh, in understanding the concept well i explaining uh, not an issue please drop uh, drop your concern in, uh, in like in our comment section or messages in our telegram group right okay so without no issues let us start our first um was top one uh, improper platform usage this category covers the misuse of a platform future or failure to use the platform security controls which are provided by android google things right it might be include the things like android interns platform permissions misuse of touch id or improper use of keychain or a key store or some other security controls that is very important uh, like when it comes to the mobile environment system right one of the common or uh, the most common um, improper platform usage things are like violation of uh, publisher guidelines because if you go to uh, you know android uh, security uh, website uh, you know let me let me show you people there are so many security things like you have to take care uh, like you know before we develop the things uh, let me go to the google android security uh, security guidelines that has been given by android people for developers like you know how to store a data or how to store some uh, you know uh, keys see security keys like that so violating such kind of things like guidelines and violation of convention or common practice suppose uh, like you know there is a very amazing feature called log feature uh, in a android like uh, we are like uh, you know not practicing the like not following the best practices uh, of uh, of logging the things you know like i will give you one example uh, about that like how it can be done and i will share my uh, you know experience uh, which i faced like, which i disclosed uh, like uh, the vulnerability when it comes to the improper, like improper platform usage and uh, like another thing is unintentional misuse like uh, you know uh, there are uh, things like uh, key store key store uh, generally uh, is a container kind of thing uh, which will be uh, used to store a cryptographic keys uh, whenever that is i mean like which will be stored to uh, you know uh, such kind of things inside that and it is almost impossible to uh, like get the data from a key store it is not like it is never possible you should get it to kernel as is that there are a lot of things to get into a key store but it is a uh, very very difficult task to get the data from a key store so uh, you know android advises developers to store a cryptographic keys uh, uh, inside uh, the key stores but some uh, some um, like you know for developers their their uh, convenience purpose or easy to access purpose or they might not know how to uh, you know configure key store so such kind like in such uh, scenarios they might hard code it 
because like like hard code it so it will be easier for any attacker to get into such keys right so that might be uh, one of the issue because they are not using the platform uh, in an efficient way for example as i said app uh, local storage instead of keychain that's what like you can like storing uh, uh, that uh, key stores uh, like uh, storing that and cryptographic keys or a client sec secret keys uh, in uh, database or in hard code in any part of a code instead of storing it in keychain so that is also, that might be one of the very bad uh, implementation and uh, other might be like insecure web server configuration suppose yeah you can load a uh, you know web view in android app right so uh, there are uh, web web view configurations like you know load url and uh, window things and there is uh, uh, other tag called javascript enable right like, you know, whenever the javascript enable they, it is like it is very dangerous things because uh, and accesses can be implement like can be triggered in such scenarios so whenever you people are implementing i mean like when you are see the javascript enabled uh, uh, future so try to hunt on that web view which is loading or the url which is loading on that particular uh, web window or that web server window right so these are the few common examples with the platform uh, usage and let me see let, like i have uh, you know one like to show how how can, how it can be done so this is a like vulnerable app uh, which i showed you so we have interconnected bub so bub is not needed uh, we'll dump, like for this so uh, insecure login so i was telling about the future of logging right so what happens like you know uh, if a developer is uh, uh, is not uh, using the log feature in efficient way suppose there is a feature of entering a credit card number or some sensitive pin codes or some sensitive uh, data uh, in placeholder so you know in such scenarios so uh, what happens sometimes so uh, uh, developer might uh, put uh, like everything to the log for his own purpose but if he is not putting it in some encrypted format or some uh, you know uh, un human readable format so then it would be fine but if he is puts everything in a uh, uh, plain text whatever we type then it would be a serious issue right so let us see let us see how it can be done so before you have like you know uh, whatever it uh, entered the data here it will go to the log so before that you should have uh, access access to to check the log of this uh, mobile application there are a lot of ways to do so either from uh, like you know adb shell uh, or you can do from android studio or you can also do from uh, there is some tool called yum logcat right let me run it uh, that also so let us see is any yum devices are uh, connected and there are other things is already running so uh, let me open it here also uh, adb shell okay so let me run the logcat so now logs are running right so let me let me give my uh, credit card number so this is not my credit card number so don't use it anywhere so let me just give a check out okay so go to the log section uh, you can see whatever the data you entered is given here without any encryption or without any like any encoding it is directly human readable thing so these things are very 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 dangerous and if you can see it in uh, yum logcat that tool also that is like you know this logcat tool is very very strong tool i suggest you people to use uh, this only when it comes to checking for a uh, logs uh, is this uh, yeah you can see uh it is uh, printed here only right so that's what like uh, you can use any tools so yeah, mlocket is one of the good tools actually it gives a very gui format and it will also show you what is the pid in the sense uh, process id and process name everything even this also gives but a gui is always better if you are comfortable with cli you can go for cli if you are good with like comfortable with gui you can go with a gui so these are one of the common thing and other uh, scenario what high sub here in the sense like you know i was working with one application uh, six to seven months back so there was a uh, you know logging operations and post logging operations uh, things so 
whatever uh, request is done and whatever the response was sent from a server everything was encrypted uh, while it was sending from server to the client but whatever the uh, response got from a server it was getting decrypted in a mobile so developer unintentionally has put a log operation there and everything was throwing into log after decrypting so i was able to find the things like you know uh, once uh, like whatever the responses sent from a server like some some security like you know some secret keys and some authentication id some access tokens uh, like you know when the login is done the like access tokens will be issued from a server right such access tokens and everything such a, such a sensitive information so i was able to see it in the log things so whenever it happens so like even if even if even if the app has a logging operation doesn't matter go check out the logs logs are always uh, like very important it will give us a lot of lot of information so that is also like that is only of the main important thing other uh, improper platform usages like you know uh, using of uh, uh, you know, uh, storing the security keys in a shared preference or uh, any database thing. So, because those things are easily accessible, uh, so you can check for that also. Like, uh, let me let me show it in upcoming videos. Like, we have a, a very like another vulnerability called improper data storage. In such a like in that topic, I will explain you completely. So, the overview of these uh, vulnerabilities, like you know. <laughs> not using the security measures of android to its extent because android has given all the precautions and the most uh, more like you know secure environment to develop but some developers might not feel comfortable to use them as i mentioned a keystone so in such scenarios uh, these kind of issues happens and other things like uh, you know uh, like logging out the all the data so, so that is one of the things and coming to uh, android intents uh, you know we we see in the components like activities uh, services broadcast and content providers exporting them without a proper usage so such things can uh, can happen like uh, you know suppose there is a activity hey uh which is getting exported but activity hey uh, contains uh, data of some uh, uh, bank code some secret codes as you as you right so if it is exported then it can be accessed from any other app right so we will show such demonstration when we were uh, uh, doing uh, one vulnerable application right i will show like how to exp like how to capture the uh, activity from POC application we have we can create a POC application I will walk you through one of the bug bounty write up uh, in that uh, I will demonstrate you like how it can be done so that is also one of the scenario that can be come under improper platform usage and other thing is uh, debug mode or uh, backup mode enabling like debug mode uh, you have to make sure when you push the half to the production environment so debug is half and uh, and uh, that backup is also half right so these are the basic common things uh, that can lead us to improper uh, platform usage so make sure make sure you cover all those uh, like endpoints whenever you performing the vulnerable assessment on any applications and the uh, prevention of uh, these kind of things is secure coding and a configuration practices must be used on server side of applications that's what like you know the cryptographic keys or whatever you have decrypting the things locally but make sure like not sending it to the log and uh, nowadays very like uh, people are using a key store but old apps uh, are still there they are in um, like you know old school models so they are not uh, they are not coming out of their legacies so practicing the upgraded things are uh, are uh, very you know uh, faithfully like uh, accepted but still being there will be like very vulnerable that's why uh, we use uh, platforms like you know android apis like uh, version 7 or version 7.1 because third version environment are so comfortable to test uh, the applications because that application like that version has not 
uh, too much of security measures uh, in a Android and it's not so too much vulnerable so it is very good for security so that's why even I prefer using Android version 7 or 7.11 to do the vulnerable assessment so I hope you guys got some idea on what is improper platform usage and how to how to identify such kind of things and uh, how to like how to mitigate it like practicing the best practices you can you can always uh, go up and check out the developer uh, uh, you know uh, like android uh, documents which has a lot of uh, security measures it has been uh, given right uh, that's what which I mentioned about a web view things also so this is about the first topic of uh, who has uh, guys if you guys still got any doubt uh, in this topic please let me know I hope like you know practicals uh, will uh, make us uh, topics uh, more clear uh, I will try to give a best like uh, when it comes to the improper platform usage I could show only uh, you know uh, log operations and there are hard coded things also okay let me show you the hard coded secret keys also uh, I think uh, the second uh, yeah hard coding issues right so objective find out what is hard coded and where a developer sometimes will hard code sensitive information for their easy purpose right so he is asking enter the vendor key so i let me open my uh jadax let me go to my uh, uh where is my let me open jadax and uh, drop the apk into jadax and see what like what is that exactly like what is the hard coded secret key has been pasted so what is the app name divya right divya uh downloads so yeah diva beta apk okay so he asked like something related to vendor key so obviously it might have a keyword something related to vendor to fetch it from the code right so uh, i already said uh, during the tools part this is one of the very efficient search key across the, the entire uh, source course right so it might be put it in the comments also uh, it might be in the resource also so let me check it so vendor key okay so we have it actually uh, okay this is from xml and this is okay we have okay we got something okay so this is the one view is it and uh, there is a toast okay so okay hard coded activity here is from okay so whatever the uh, text is there inside this particular uh, uh, view right uh, if it is equals to this as is granted or else okay let me put it wrong let me just type some wrong values so it doesn't give as like it said as it is shown so this will be our key so let me let me type it paste yes that's all like you know everything will be in like in front of us we have to just uh, dig into the code and we have to uh, find out so this is a this, like this is a brief information about the the first vulnerability is like improper platform uh, usage guys so hope you you got your you know uh, all the things are uh, good if you feel like then like something like confused or uh, you know if you miss up some concepts to understand let us know like uh, let me make it very clear for you right so if you like our video please uh, share and subscribe us and uh, support us and share with your uh, friends who are interested in android vulnerability things right see you again in the next video guys bye bye take care